punishment for leaving Islam is death. Public or private is kind of irrelevant. What do you think about that? Why would you worship a God who orders that? Right. Uh, you, you seem to have forgotten that your own Bible also says that there is death for an apostate. So let's see what the ruling is on apostasy. Deuteronomy chapter 13, which... Deuteronomy chapter 13, which speaks about an apostate in your own house. If one of your family commits apostasy, what are you to do? You are to be the first ones to stone the apostate in your own family. What do you think about that? Why would you worship a God who orders that? And Jesus upheld this law in uh, Matthew 23, Matthew 5, 17. He says, if you do not obey the least of these commandments, the commandments to execute the adulterer, execute the blasphemer, execute the apostate, um, you, you, will, you will be called least in the, in the, I am very sure, you will, be called, you will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Now Paul, of course, the apostle Paul abrogated, he said in Ephesians 2, 15, oh, all this law has been uh, abolished. But Jesus said, I have not come to abolish the law. So if you condemn Islam, you are like condemning Jesus the Messiah. Yes. Isn't that interesting? Yes. Not just a, if you're not just a secularist with a little bit of Christian peanut butter on top. But if you really want the word of God to form your worldview and the way you think, then you look at what happens in the Old Testament and even if you continue to struggle with some things, one thing becomes very, very clear is that God is holy and He has wrath against sin. And you learn that if we take sin far too lightly, we countenance it far too easily, and we are really trying to edit God into something more comfortable, we don't realize that He has the right to bring his wrath to bear against any sinner at any time and in any way he pleases. Now most Christians I know will say, oh sure, God would have the right to destroy any rebel sinner at any point in time. Then when God does it, they get really upset. Exodus 21, 20 through 21, if a man beats his male or female slave with a rod and the slave dies as a direct result, he must be punished. But he is not to be punished if the slave gets up after a day or two, since the slave is his property. You can thrash them within inches of their lives, but make sure you don't directly kill them. Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes.